Uh, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you viewers wherever you are watching from. I want to quickly share the message that I believe is very important. One thing that I want uh, our viewers to understand is that Zimbabwe is going into another level, is going to be blessed. And I believe the word of the Lord. Uh, therefore, there is a message that the Lord wants me to share to the people of Zimbabwe. And the reason why I'm sharing this message on public uh, is because for a long time I received many revelations concerning the nation of Zimbabwe. But uh, respectively speaking, yes, people tend to look down the messages of God. People tend to look who is speaking, who is talking to us. So as a result, you find the messages that are just hanging um, on paper, hanging on emails. Uh, God said, put these messages on public. And for, for the messages that I'm speaking, and for those who are recipient of certain things that I'm, I'm talking about, uh, if they are um, coming across these messages, they have to take them serious. As much as effort to send them through uh, can be done. But here I'm just obeying the Lord so that when those things begin to happen, people should refer and understand. So the message that I'm going to share is a message that uh, is related to a story that I'm going to narrate. And this story is a story concerning Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was arrested for preaching the word of God, was arrested for uh, and not spreading good news, which was not an issue. But you know how certain leaders sometimes do not like uh, the prophets, the preachers of the word of God. So to cut the long story short, uh, Apostle Paul was on trial. So they put him on a ship to go to Rome so that he can be trialed. Eventually, we believe that it is believed that this is where Apostle Paul ended up dying. But the, the story that happened uh, in his transition uh, is what I want to talk about. And uh, there is a message that I want to relate or to relay uh, using the story of Apostle Paul. So to cut uh, maybe the long uh, uh, the chapter, I would urge people as usual to go and read the chapter as of where I'm extracting the example or a story that I'll be using. If you go to the book of Acts chapter 27, you'll find out that Apostle Paul was amongst other prisoners and they were moving from one uh, ship to another uh, as they were trying to reach Rome and also from island to island. Now, it happened to that when they were, were in a certain ship, there's something that Apostle said. This is where I want to draw your attention to the message that I want to speak to us as a nation or to individual. Because even a message is being uh, sent to, uh, to, to, to the nation, uh, it can also help someone who can also take some of the points, insights, prophetic words that may come out from my sharing. So I want us to read a certain scripture. I'll be just picking uh, small portions of scriptures so that I will not spend time maybe reading the Bible. Not to say it's not important, but I understand that I also need to cut time where people may be able to hear this message without constraining themselves on issues of data and etc so let me go to the verse uh, which i want to read the bible says in verse 9 now when they w now when much time had been spent and sailing was now dangerous because the fast was already over uh, paul advised them i want you to make i want you to mark the word paul advised them saying men i perceive that this voyage will end with a disaster and much loss not only of the cargo and the ship but also our lives nevertheless the centurion was more persuaded by the captain written and the owner of the ship than uh, by the owner of the ship than by the things spoken by paul and verse 18 the bible says and because we were exceedingly tempest tossed the day, the next day, they lightened the ship. On the third day, we threw the ship's tackles overboard with our own hands. Now, when neither sun 
nor stars appeared for many days, uh, and no small tempest beat on us. All hope that we would be saved was finally given up. Let me explain something here. These people were using voyages, the ships, uh, which may be different to the modern ships. So as they were sailing, uh, Apostle Paul uh, said, I perceive that uh, sailing is dangerous. As I perceive that uh, sailing is dangerous and you may end up in disaster, even loss of the cargo, not only of the cargo, but also of our lives. This is a word that came to Apostle Paul. Now, the Bible tells us that uh, nevertheless, the centurion, the one that was in charge uh, of moving with these prisoners, uh, was more persuaded. He was more persuaded by the captain who was uh, steering the voyage, steering the ship, and also the ship owner. And there's a message there that uh, you see the problems that is happening in, in the lives of people whether at family, individual level, or to the nation, where I also want to speak something, is because the people have got certain voices they listen to, uh, because of maybe their, uh, the, the way they save their information, the, the credentials, or the status. So Apostle Paul being a prisoner, uh, carrying the message of God as a prophet of God in this instance, uh, perceived that something is going to happen to the voyage. Something was going to happen to the ship they were moving to uh, Italy, to Rome. So the Bible tells us that the centurion did not listen to this man who was like a passenger in this voyage, who was just a, like an ordinary prison who is going there to be tried. So he weighed and said, how can we listen to this man? Because we have a captain who has been using uh, this ship for a long time, sailing for many trips, and he has got experience. He knows the temperatures, he knows uh, the sea very well and the behavior of the winds. So who is this man? So the centurion ignored the word that came through the Apostle Paul, who was just an ordinary person, but representing the mouth of God. This is the error that the, uh, the nations in general do because they normally don't listen to the church. They don't normally listen to those um, who are called prophets or who stand for God. At the other hand, I may not blame them because of what is happening probably in the board of Christ because the church has been invaded with the prophets who just speak words in order to fill their stomach and maybe to get fame. So when certain things which are very important in order to advise those who are in authority, those who are captains of industries, those who are leading certain organizations, they may not listen. Why? Because they look at uh, the people who are around and the most probable thing they can do is to hear the intellectuals. In this case, the captain can represent those who are learned, those who have experienced the intellectuals. So anyone who may come and say, the Lord is saying this A, B, C, D, they will throw that information away, which is a danger where it can cause what I'm saying today through this message prophetically and also devotionally that it can cause a ship rank. So in order for people to avoid what I call ship rank, whether a nation, whether a family or a company, they must also know that God is very interested in the affairs of people, in the day-to-day -day, uh, living of people. So let me just explain something that is very important also here. There was also a ship owner. As a ship owner, you must understand a ship owner, his business is not to listen to what they call another voice. They can take as nonsense what these uh, people are saying. What are these uh, the prophetic words uh, being released? For what? And we just need to work and make profit. So the ship owner was there 
to only make sure that the ship reached to its destiny and they will be able probably paid and get their money and their profit. They are after to profit here, not to listen to anything. But here is the danger because there is also a possibility of a ship rank. Now, Apostle Paul warned them and they did not listen. They continued with the journey. As they were sailing through, they also uh, faced a very uh, 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 dangerous wind that was contrary to them. The tempest tossed them. Then the next day, what they did, they took some of the things that were on board, started to throw them away and throw them in the sea. Now, they, what they were trying to do was now to lighten the ship so probably it won't have some problem. They lost the property. Probably they lost the valuable things only because they ignored the voice of the Lord. This is where I'm coming to, to say in this, in this world, uh, uh, in this world, yes, we may, different, we may have different backgrounds, different religion, different beliefs, but I standing here, standing for God, that the God who created the heaven and earth, uh, the God who created the whole universe, never underestimate his interest in the affairs of people and the nation. So the word is always there, whether at a family level, whether at a company for those who want to believe God, whether on a nation like our nation Zimbabwe, the word will be there. The guidance of the Lord will be there. But what people do, like I shared previously, that we see our leaders, instead of putting their trust in the Lord, they trust in, in other powers. They would rather go to uh, those who are called so powers, gurus of powers, looking for power, looking for uh, guidance in mediums and so forth. And they may get whatever they want to get. But like I shared in my previous message, that the wrath of God will come upon any nation that may ignore the voice of the Lord. At the end of the day, they can be a ship rank, a ship rank, and they, they can be a loss. And when, when the things will be happening, they may not see anything wrong. The Bible says when, when there was exceeding tempest, they, they, they throw things, they started to put things away to lighten. And Apostle Paul said uh, to them, Men, you should have listened to me, verse 21, you should have listened to me and, and not sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. This is the danger that may happen. So I'm here to speak also prophetically. Uh, to, to those who are going to hear me, not to say they are going to do that. Even the leadership that shall come and even who are going to lead the nation in future, in the years to come, to say if they put God first, if they, if they continue to seek the guidance of the Lord, God will lead the nation to a prospering, prosperous uh, level. This is not to say we do not need the captains of industries. The, those who steer the ship to go forward. We do, this is not to say we do not want business people and their knowledge and their advice and their mind to build the nation to go forward. But in the midst of all that, these people, the intellectuals, these people, the business people, those in the industries and those professionals, they may not hear the voice of the Lord. This is a known uh, fact that the professionals the intellectuals, it's almost impossible to believe that God can also be interested in how they run the economy, in how they run their business, in how they run the nation. It is almost uh, 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 zero or certain percentage. That's why you see even in the boardrooms, if you find a spiritual man there, thank God for those who know God, but in most boardrooms, in most uh, uh, government setups and so forth, they are less spiritual. And for those who may come to stand for the spiritual things, as it is ob observed elsewhere, 
you find that some will be just be there to find opportunity to feed their stomach instead to stand as the mouth of God those who can give guidance and hear what God will be saying in order to guide the nation that uh, they will be just speaking things that uh, those who want to hear can hear in order to save their stomach so I'm coming with this message as I'm loaded with this burden uh, since the time God steered my spirit concerning my nation Zimbabwe that uh, we pray that this issue of sheep rank that we saw in the past where the nation can be plagued in disaster cannot happen in the future why because if people do not involve the voice of God something can happen and the loss of, of the the loss of many things can happen so I have this burden and sometimes uh, I'm disturbed as, as, as a child of God and as a pastor or a man of God who knows very well that God is, is got interest in the affairs of people when we saw all other people some other people who I thought that everyone who speaks for God is looking to feed his stomach everyone who speaks for God is a fake everyone who speaks for God is looking for fame let me tell you not everyone who is looking for fame who is looking to lift up maybe to his status but you see this has happened and it has cost it has cost the nations it has cost families it has cost the economies because people will not listen to the voice of the lord but however apostle paul uh, uh, went ahead to say now i urge you to take heart for there will be no loss of life among you but only of the sheep for stood by me this night an angel of god to whom i belong and to whom i save saying do not be afraid paul you must be brought before caesar and indeed god has granted you and all those who sell with you therefore take heart men for i believe god that it will be just as it was uh, told me now apostle paul encouraged these people to say even if you do not listen to me i continued to intercede and the angel of the lord who stood with me told me that no loss is going to happen only maybe for the voyage uh, because i have to reach where i must reach so it was possible for the whole voyage and the whole ship and even the cargo to reach intact and to avoid losses so the message that i want to say here is that there is also um, a, a minimization that can, uh, can can happen in families in businesses even in the nation so apostle paul uh, managed to, to uh, bring hope and uh, and encourage people to say we can move forward this is the message that i have come to speak to my beloved nation zimbabwe for I see God is going to do great things in Zimbabwe. And the, the Lord said, the voice of the Lord should never be ignored. The voice of the Lord, the guidance of the Lord. This is not to say those who should use whatever skills advisor, as, as advisors should not do so. Because everyone is going to stand on his own position on his own position for the nation to go forward but i'm just coming here to share something that god was putting on my heart that the ship rank can be avoided god is also interested in the affairs of people in conclusion i want you to know that in this story where i'm trying to put this message prophetically and also encouraging people that the ship owner represents the business owners those who are in industries and also the the captain those who stay in this business are like the managers those who go on the front they know they have experience how to sell but you see besides making profit it is also important to know the season and the time of how to do things this is where i'm coming with this message that the voice of the lord is always there God who created the heaven and earth and people who are living, we are not living for ourselves. God is interested in the affairs of people. 
So, brethren and the people of Zimbabwe, or everyone who is hearing this message, never ignore those who are, who send, who are sent to speak the reason and the voice of God for the nations, for the families, for any organization to move forward. Here I'm not talking about the prophecies that we see as the prophets that are there to display that uh, someone can hear from God that are left hanging without details, without guidance, without specific message. But we are talking for those who can stand to guide the, the people who are on authority. Who I'm speaking like this because of what God instructed me to say to my nation and to those who are hearing me. Because the ship should reach where God intended it to reach. Ship ranking can be avoided if people listen. Losses of nations, losses of life, loss of life, loss of business, loss of profits can be avoided. This is the message of encouragement. This is a message prophetical. This is a message that comes like a devotional, but it was a message that is speaking to us if we hear with a spiritual ear. God bless you, Zimbabwe. God bless everyone who is hearing this message. Shalom.